All right, welcome back to Path of Exile. I'm going to rush to this uh, jewel socket here uh, because we have a the last Frostblades one where it uh, penetrates more cold resistance, so it'll give us some more neat little damage. And now we head back to the bathhouse because there's actually an alternate path here, and we unfortunately uh, have been out of this instance for long enough that it reset. I think it's like 15 minutes or something. Nah, well, we got to get clean anyway. Uh, whatever, whatever Pat says. It's a bathhouse, Mike. It's, it was... never mind. That's never clean. I'll have you know I showered twice this morning already. Twice? Yeah. Why, why twice? Well, trust me. <clears throat> after the first bath, I got some pain on me, and then it was just a... It was just a whole mess. Well then. Yeah. It's been a fun morning. Dude, there's more of those chrome balls. And I do not like talking about balls in the bathhouse. <laughs> I guess that's why it's an appropriate place for, the, place for them. And uh, we've already... Use the boss again. Yeah, well, let's just... Uh, okay, fine, Hector, fine. Fine, have it your way. I mean, he, he was pretty. coming to you, not the other way around. So don't blame me. I mean, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll kill him if that's what he wants. It's fine. I think that is what he wanted, Mike. He wants a lot of things. Alright. Uh, oh, there's a labyrinth thing here. Oh, me. Oh, we can do that, actually. I didn't actually know. Oh, well, I, I mean, it says on my side there that there's the Trials of the Oh. Well, the, well, this is appropriate for the bathhouse. Just everything's on fucking fire, huh? Hey, this is what keeps the water warm. Uh-huh. Alright. This may be a mistake. This is what keeps the water warm. Yeah. The floor is lava. Yeah. Oh, keep pressing switches, and I guess that's it. I don't know. There's a trunk there. Okay. It's just a trunk. Alright, now we head back. I ain't no bitch. Actually, the bike ran the wrong way. Oh, no, never mind. Or the right way. Allow your wisdom to be tempered by the flames of the past. Alright, that was a really weird bathhouse. Also, it's, it's part of the bathhouse. It's not the bathhouse as a whole, Mike. Well, maybe, you want, maybe, maybe you want to take a bath in fire, Pat. Maybe that's yeah, this, this, this bathhouse caters to the lava people of um, whatever that uh, C Lab 2021 episode was about. Well, welcome to Lunaris Concourse. Uh, this is another concourse. <laughs> Which we still don't really know what the fuck I can. No, I need no, to Google I, that. No, no, I already know what it means. As I said, it's, it's a you? thing. Yeah, it's a thing, basically. It's like for the, the building. It's fine. Concourse. I mean, but the thing is, this should seem kind of familiar to you guys. Noun, a large open area inside or in front of a public building, as in an airport or train station. Yeah, exactly. So, it's literally just a big fucking wide open area. Also, somebody's done a lot of cleaning since we were last here. So this was uh, before, yeah, it was called the Ebony Barracks before, and they still have the tents here, it looks like. Not quite as many as before, and there's a lot less dead bodies. A lot less dead bodies. Hey, right, if you remember before, like, the dead bodies were literally piling high. That is very true. Hey, what the hell? Nightbreaker Night Lucius. Lucius. Isn't he the one with the orb? No, he's not. Nope. Oh, we can't even go into the sex tent anymore. Well, you know, sometimes it's life. Sometimes you don't get access to the sex tent. So these no, towels, never get access. these are new towels. They have uh, a new ability uh, called, uh, what's that, what's that, like, uh, Fro Ice Spear. Ice Spear, that's the one. It's not a new ability, but yeah. Well, it's new in the context of, A, nobody has seen that. Well, actually, it's I think it's been a couple times, but they're, they're a new type of towel that they added, which is nice. Mike, I just want to let you know that the one time in my life when I needed a towel, I didn't get it. Well, no one gives a fuck, that's why. I had greasy hands, Mike. I needed a towel. You need a towel. God bless you on this. I can't do this just yet. God bless you on this fine day. God. All right. What are we supposed to do? Oh, destroy relax. I can do that. Right. Oh, God blessed us on this fine day, dude. Look at all these flower petals and shit everywhere. Uh oh yeah, there are. Yeah, well, they're like I don't know. Lunaris Temple or okay. something. Okay, alright, let me just say that last time we were here, Mike, 
we were literally knee deep in blood and bodies. All right, they they literally cleaned this up. Whatever made they got is amazing. I mean, I I, I like there's a bunch of towels, Pat. I could kind of guess how they've cleaned it up. But how come the towels are still blue then? Because you know that red ain't gonna come out easy. I mean, they probably washed it, you know, in the fucking giant red fucking rivers in the fucking place in the lower area, remember, where Piety was? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's if, if the towels would need to be red then, they're still blue. And don't tell me that they invented bleach already. That's not, if his bleach should be white then. Exactly. Or some kind of cleaning detergent. Bitch, like, it's they magic. They don't have Tide. They don't have Tide. Bitch, it's magic. You don't have to explain anything. Okay, let's go kill Cole again. Oh, there's a Valid. bunch of... What are these guys? Lunar Sworn uh, Winter Mage. Lunar Scout. Alright, well, there's no Cole anymore, it looks like. Um, I'm not too sad about that, actually. Oh, I miss Cole. Dude, they even clean these! Like, these instruments over here? Clean. Look at them. Why do you have a bunch of hands following you everywhere you walk? Because uh, I summon necromantic shit, and they're giving me hands, and giving me a hand? Giving you a hand. Uh, Taking you that long to make that pun. Yeah, it did. Mike, I'm not a smart man, you know that. I think it's ironic that for this class of Slayer, I actually did the least efficient thing, which is actually good to go Frostblades. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah, is all I your know. fault. This is all your fault, by the way. My fault! I, I, should, mm. I could've just done Earthquake or Sunder or something decent. Alright, well, oh, where'd all the blood go? That's what I mean! Look at it! Look how clean it is! I mean, maybe, Although it does look like Kool-Aid. Maybe, maybe they, like, wring themselves out the towels, you know? And Where like, would they have wrung out that much blood? I don't know. In Solaris or something? Fuck Solaris. Fuck it. Where, like, you cannot displace this amount of blood that easy. They're, the blood has had had to gone somewhere. Well, I don't know the answer to that. What this I can tell you is that everything here is very blue. Yeah. Well, gray, but Ab yeah. Abadia would die. I think gray is the better color. But then again, I'm a dog. I don't see colors. You're a dog? Bark, bark. Bark, bark, motherfucker. A rough, rough. Open up the door. It's real. Find the moon orb. Find the moon orb. I, I literally have the quest twice. <laughs> yeah, because you have lunar eclipse and solar eclipse. Yeah, but like, why? Oh, did you see the solar eclipse, Mike? I totally did. It was pretty much like as if like the moon was like covering the sun. It's pretty crazy shit. That's some pretty yeah. That's that's ridiculous. I've never even heard of that. Yeah, I didn't even know such a thing was possible. Like things. Well, did you make that. sure that you at least attacked the Fire Nation while the eclipse was going on? Of course I did. Okay, good. All right. You only have once every hundred. Oh shit. That was a lot of shit in there. Gotta buy it. There's a lot of shit in here. It contains mirrored items. So they're all like duplicates of each other. Fucking hell. And they're all pretty bad, actually. I mean, the Topaz ring is pretty bad. Yeah, fuck that shit. Pretty bad. The ripping Viridian <laughs> Jewel. Yeah, I'm not even gonna fucking touch any of that. So, so this game actually has a lot of recipes, aka Wait, if you looks, sell certain things. Nice. That... Yeah, if you sell certain things, what? If you sell certain things in combination to vendors, you get, you know, certain things back. In this case, if you sell two items that are a mirror of each other, like uh, <laughs> the two hey, amulets. I, I found out what they did with everything. They just put in the fucking corner here. Look at that. <laughs> hey, that's how I cleaned when I was little. You know, okay, Mike, they're trying. Look, they're wrapping up the bodies in, in chains. Gee, uh, well, you know, I guess everything does come back to life in Ray class. It's a really smart move, <laughs> actually. Look at, look at all these people. Holy shit. Okay, I guys continue telling us about like why you clean stuff or something. I don't know what the fuck you're talking, Basically, talking about. Basically, this game has a lot of recipes, and if you sell two items that are a mirror of each other to a vendor, you get a chance orb in return. What are the but chances? If you're, watching this, if you're watching this 15 years from now, and then that's changed, well, I, I'm sorry. Uh, but... I have a chance orb for that partisan. Fuck. 
That's like the worst possible thing. You have nothing else? Hold on. Oh yeah, I got, I got augments. No. <laughs> Fuck it. But Whatever, we I, got... We just want more items on that, basically, is what we want. But it's not worth rolling, re rolling like 10 billion times. Yeah, because it's just scraps. Oh man, I can't wait to go fight Piety again. Yeah, I wonder how she's doing now. Fight Piety in a shower of flower petals, just like in one of my Ray Classian animes. <laughs> now, all I get is a snicker. Come on, I try. I tried with that joke. All right. Ray Class in high school. Jeez, Exile Son, it's not like I hate <laughs> you or anything. <laughs> oh shit, we got our first map. Oh shit. So this will play into a little bit later if you don't know the game, but this is actually about the time it should start dropping. We're at like level 60-ish, but we're not going to be using that for quite a while. Um, so yeah, just telling you that exists. All right, into the portal. All right, Piety. Oh no, wait, it's uh, Dust Carpenter of Lunaris. With a giant, dude, look at the face on that like giant ball. I mean, it's it's a shrouded giant ball. in darkness right now, actually. Okay, that fucking hurt. Yeah, kind of did actually. <laughs> All right, now he's dead. All right, now we got a moon orb too. Take the so we got to take it to the harbor bridge now. Uh, so there's a couple things here. Oh, we also got divine life flasks. These are the ones that we can actually start rolling as a uh, as uh, insta flasks, which uh, I, I, it's blue, so I don't want to actually spend anything on it. So uh, I'm not going to. But when when I do, I'll show you how that works. Mate, what's your fucking? Here you go. I'll let you show this off. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's your recipe. One, you got one normal one, one mirrored one. I would not suggest using a mirror of Calandra to do this re recipe, <laughs> probably. Oh, you don't. You just don't know how to make money. Oh yeah, yeah. But yes, you can. Uh, you can get chance or promise. It's actually worth Bring picking up. Nice, you can get a little, a little achievement for it too. Stay out of the shadows. Well, and we all love all right. achievements. No, I know I like achievements. So put your maps somewhere like in their own tab or something, because we're gonna get a lot of them. Maps are basically that's the end game, so you can tell how far we're getting in this game. Which is pretty far. Alright, is there anyone else that wants to talk to us? I didn't even pay attention. No, I guess not. Oh, everybody just wants us to go out and Return the moon orbs to the harbor bridge. So I think the fun place to go is actually Solaris Concourse. Let's go, let's meet up there. All right. So we didn't go into the middle because, uh, yeah, I mean, this is if you guys remember, there's a giant shield blocking this one. But uh, now it's different. Now we can yeah, actually go no here. Shield. We can go to the harbor bridge. And here you hey, are. What's the point? Of, here, here's my question. What's the point of making us go? Over to that thing, down there, when realistically, look at this. We could have just gone straight. I, I, I am aware of that, and I know we could have done that, but there, I knew there was like a little side passage, and I also kind of thought to myself... No, I, I mean like literally looking at the bridge back there, but whatever. I mean, wait, you mean there's a, you can actually see it back there somewhere? Yeah, yeah. Where? It's a straight fucking path. All, all that's in the way is a little, is a little like, uh, barricade. Oh. And for some reason, it makes us go to the side, then down those steps down there, when they could have just removed the barricade. And like, oh yeah, you can just keep going. All Whatever. Right. All right. Well, fuck you then. I guess I don't know. All you got, really? What I get? Yeah, I don't know. I can't do I've never so noticed that, and I, I don't. I'm not one to usually notice things like that. Fair, you know what? Fair enough. Dying anguish. Level oh. 19 skill gem. Pat oh. has to go pick it up. Yeah. Pat picks up everything. Dude, this guy has slashed out and everybody's dead. Maybe we should roll an insta flask soon. Uh, I'm currently using an insta flask. Oh, fuck you then, piece of shit. It's an instant flask that also applies my mana, uh, my health flask to oh, my minions. Go. Okay, now we have a. Now we have one that we can roll a little bit later. And I'll explain how that works for the tutorial people a little Ooh. bit later when we get maybe into the next act. Before we go, at least. Ooh. 
cast orbs. All right, stop stomping everywhere, Jesus. I'm fucking really fast. Something, something, slashing away at the speed of sound. Exactly. All right, the Sky Shrine. Fuck yeah. And if you come from the other side, there's the Lunaris kind of side. But I mean, it's just whatever. You guys it all get meets the up idea. In one area. You guys get the idea. Oh, dude, it's the, the statue of the sisters, Lunaris and Solaris fighting. Dude, that totally looks like Marana. Oh shit! They're alive. And they hate each other. Well, they decide they hate us a little bit more. Eh, I don't blame them. Fuck! I don't want to be in the fire. <laughs> so one of them attacks from the top. One of them attacks from. Uh, uh, oh my jeez! Yeah, that was that was a lot of falling bullshit. God, they need to they need to step off of me, please. Fucking hell, Slaris, please. Honest to God, I'm having more trouble with loot and loot not all oh, Okay. What? <laughs> Rip Pat. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Rip me! Fucking Pat took too long to come in. I literally went in immediately. I didn't even put my ores up yet. Oh uh, yeah, she fucking makes all those fucking things go back onto one person. Okay, maybe I should move every time she does that. Right, but she's dead anyways. Oh, Jesus! Welcome to the Act Eight boss, and goodbye. All right. The dark ember remains nestled deep within the putrid flesh of my dead beast. With many of Highgate's tunnels now collapsed, we must forge another way inside. Before us lies a weak point in the beast's flank. It is an ancient wound wrought by that vilish overreacher, Doriani. The wound was healed shut by a thick membrane, but the right decoction should dissolve the tissue and allow us inside. Of course, for a cordial of such potency, I shall require two ingredients of utmost rarity. First, our viscous concoction shall require basilisk acid, a princely poison which drips from the caustic heart of the basilisk, and trathan powder, an explosive substance oft used in the mining of virtue gems. With these two bitter harvests, I shall brew something worthy of eroding the membrane of my decaying pet. Alright, what do we get for this one? Solve Lunaris, solve Solaris. You 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 noticed that his like actual voice and the text did not match up at all, right? Uh, I kind of did, but I didn't pay attention. <sighs> wow, good job. Yeah. So this is more physical reduction, but I think I need to cannot be stunned for now. All right. Well, we go up hey, here. Yeah, I think I, I think I found out where they put all the blood. Oh, there you go. The blood aqueduct. Uh, welcome to stuff I have actually not played at all. Uh, this is totally new content for me because um, I only played the beta. Uh, and I did not play through, well, I mean, obviously in the beta they didn't, they didn't have this in there, so they were just finishing it up. Uh, Pat, I think, has been through it. Have you been through it or no? I, I, I stopped just a little bit before this. Okay, so this is new for Pat as well. I guess. I guess. I guess. I can't do this just yet. So they, uh, uh, something's bloody here or whatever, fuck. I guess Pied hey, is still alive. Hey, they had to push the blood somewhere. No, no, Pied is still alive. It's fine. Oh, okay. It, I guess it's just that time of the year. Exact time of the year, yeah. Hey, when it's this month, you can only do it once a year. You can only do it once a year. So something's been fucked up here, but as I said, we, we just don't, we don't really know. We don't know anything about this, about these areas. Like, I, I, I think we can assume based off everything we've seen so far. You want to know what that is? What is? Deodre, Nessa, and Piety all got together. They synced up their flow, <laughs> and now everything is just being washed away in mountains and mountains of blood. I mean, why else wouldn't we have seen Nessa in so long? I mean, she's a fucking mermaid. That's just a convenient excuse. Pushed by the, uh, 
by the media. Hey, do you want a wolf, a woodful staff? <laughs> yeah, if I can, I'll, I'll identify all. Never mind, I can't pick up all of them. We got diamond flask. If you want to do crits, we don't do crits. So, I mean, even when you do do crits, I don't think anybody really cares about that flask too much. Eh, it used to be really good, but eh, it's got diminishing returns. Got diminishing returns. Yeah, you, do you know how it works, actually? I actually do not. I, I, I just know it rolls twice. It takes the yeah, and that's pretty. One. That's pretty much exactly what it is. Uh, basically, if you have like, let's say, a twenty-five percent chance to crit, it will roll your attack twice, and if the first time it doesn't crit, it will roll it again. So instead of having a twenty-five percent chance to crit, while you have that flask up, it's like a twenty-five, and then half of a twenty-five. So you technically have thirty-seven point five percent chance to crit. Which sounds really good, and it works really well up until you get to like the upper echelons of like crit chance. Well, there's a lot of shit here, so let me go talk to everyone. The dark ember remains nestled deep within the putrid flesh of my dead beast. With many of Highgate's tunnels now collapsed, we must forge another way inside. I have divined one weak point in the beast's flank. An ancient wound wrought by that varlish overreacher, Doriani. The wound was healed shut by a thick membrane, but the right decoction should dissolve the tissue and allow us inside. Of course, for a cordial of such potency, I shall require two ingredients of utmost rarity. First, our viscous concoction shall require basilisk acid, a princely poison which drips from the caustic heart of the basilisk, and triathan powder an explosive substance oft used in the mining of virtue gems. With these two bitter harvests, I shall brew something worthy of eroding the membrane of my decaying pet. You can gripe all you want, lover. We can't stay here. Not with all this blood. Where do you expect us to go, Vanya? We have our whole lives here in Highgate. I don't know. West, perhaps? The Ezemite land? I don't care. Just somewhere that has unpoisoned water. Oh, uh, Beast Slayer. Good to see you again. Even if you have happened upon us in a rather unruly time. Shush now, sweetie. There's no need to bother them with our woes. Oh, they don't know. I can see on your face you haven't heard. It's Kira. She's gone mad. Absolutely bonkers. She's abducted a Yon. Stolen off with her into the desert. And to make matters worse... The whole of Highgate is in a state of disarray. There's beast blood in the water. Usurpers are eyeing up the throne. And the old gods have risen. If you want my advice, get out of Highgate. Or save us. While you still can. You must have encountered men and women like us before. Relic hunters. <clears throat> Collectors of rare antiquities. Anyway, Vanya and I are the best in the business. And we need your help locating a particularly rare item. Sweets, I was working them into it. It's an ancient sword belonging to the Maraketh goddess Garukan. The Stormblade, some call it. A weapon carved from crystal, capable of capturing even the most powerful of storms within its rigid edge. The goddess lost it somewhere in the eastern desert during her ancient battle against the Necromancer Suresh and his undead horde. According to our research. Find the blade for us, and we will make it worth your while. We do this ourselves, but what with the political unrest in Highgate as of late? We fear leaving, lest we find the gateways barred and ourselves without a home. You must be the outsider, the beast killer. I am Irasha, and while our soft-hearted chieftainess has gone wandering, it falls to me to make sure this Akara doesn't suffer for it. I've heard the stories they tell of you, and I know better than to pluck the feathers from a sleeping rock. Yet, for the sake of my people, I ask that you keep your peace while among us. Our customs have too often been threatened. Your ways are not our ways. Let's keep it like that. Oyun is gone for but a few days, and already Tasuni sniffs at the throne like it's a bitch in heat. Ruled by a man. You need only walk amongst the ruins of San to understand that folly. Well, his desires are but wants and lusts while Oyun still lives. One of my scouts saw Kira and her Dekara near the foothills. They had Oyun bound to the back of a rower like a hunter's prize. And the Sekema feather, a symbol of leadership worn by her captor. 
Whether Kira works alone or in pact with her brother Tasuni, I know not. Yet I fear she means to sacrifice our Sekema to the Vulture of the Wastes. Garukan, please, this Akara has helped you in the past. Return our kindness. Free Oyun and return her safely to us. And if this quest is lost, remove the traitorous bitch Kira from this world and retrieve our feather. As long as we have that, the throne of Maraketh will remain safe. Yo, have you seen, like, this person, Arisha, or whatever the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, it's like she has Silk's ass for a rack. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, she is the most well-endowed character in this game by far. And like, I'm adding her to my trinity that is uh, part of the problem. Jesus Christ. All right, well. <laughs> I thought it was just me. I wasn't going to say anything. I, I mean, that's the first thing I know. So I continue talking to people. The nightmares of a whisper now. Cowering within crevice and crack. They speak of old gods' return and the reprisal of an exile to a beleaguered land. My sister Kira has grown obsessed with the vulture of the wastes, our goddess Garukan. Kira has taken Oyun and plans to sacrifice her, imagining she can reforge herself as a red Sakema, a warlord destined to unite the Madaketh under her bloody banner. My sister's betrayal is too great for forgiveness. Like a rabid dog wandering the mountain pass, she must be put down. I ask this of you, for you are familiar with such barbarism and will not feel the pangs of mercy that I would. On her person, I suspect you will find Oyun's royal mandate, the Sakema Feather. If Kara truly wishes to take the throne, she would need such an item to be considered more than a simple usurper. Bring it to me for safekeeping. And please, return our Sakema or Yun to us if you can. If she still lives, that is. But don't risk your life or hers. For I know her mind. She would not want Alright, so Kira has decided to usurp the throne for some fucking reason. I think it's Kira and Uyun. Or Oyun, or whatever his goddamn name no, is. Oyun is a sacrifice. Oh, yeah? oh yeah. or whatever Kira, that guy that you turn the cards into, whatever his name is. Basically, the person here, no, that's that's his sister. So the person that used to be the vendor here, that used to be like, you will be remembered kind of thing. So she's um, she's gone fucking bunkers and wants to like usurp oh, the throne. Oh, female grist. Yeah. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna teach you it's guys. It's always the vendors. You've noticed that, right? Yeah, I'm gonna teach you guys how to roll uh, uh, an instant flask, guys. Uh, so sorry if uh, you guys are watching. And you don't want a tutorial, but too fucking bad to get a tutorial, sort of ish. All right, so I'm just gonna get a little bit. I'm gonna sell some of these quality flasks that I have because uh, um, I want to get more of these uh, things. So there's two ways you can do this. Um, so that's why I've been keeping all these quality flasks. Uh, so I can get these glass floors bubbles to use on this one. So the reason we use this one, so let's compare, let's say, this one to, I don't know, I guess this one. So this is like 1460 life over 3 seconds. This is 2400 life over 7 seconds. And this has technically 3 uses because it's like 15 out of 45 charges. This one is 2 uses because it's 15 out of 30. So the reason we roll this one is um, because we're going to roll what's, uh, what's what's called, uh, what I'm saying is an instant flask. And the reason why we roll this one is because uh, the time won't matter because we're going to roll a stat on it that basically is instant life comes back, basically. Um, so it's going to basically give us all the life back uh, in the flask instantly, uh, but that, that could give us 2,400. That would be, uh, sorry, 24,000, like, or not 100. Uh, that would be overpowered. So that's the reason we kind of use this one because there's three charges in it, so we just mash it three times to like get the full use out of it if, if we need to. So uh, this is like what people roll in this game for insta flask. So we, if you can you want to quality it um if you don't have enough then it doesn't really matter you can do it some other time so basically the way we roll it is we we're going to use our alterations and augmentations so right now it says here physical damage attack leech as uh during light, flask effect remember we're looking for the stat that gives instant uh it's going to give it, uh, all the stuff back in uh, all the life instantly so anything that rolls anything that's related to flask effect is obviously the second roll will never be um 
to, to instantly get your health back. So this one's immune ble uh, immune to bleeding and charge recovery, so they already has two stats on it. Uh, reduced charges used. That can't roll uh, instant, I'm pretty sure. No, you can't Which have... Which one it. is it? Reduced charges used. I can't roll instant. Yeah, that's a suffix. Yeah, that's how it kind of works. Um, then there's like block to recover during flask effect. That's obviously not going to roll the second one. This is already has two mods. Immunity to freeze and then remove fr uh, freeze and chill on use. That is one mod. I don't know why they put it on two lines. It's just a lot there. Uh, yeah. One sec, that's also not it. So this one is the opposite of it. This one gives more life, but twice the amount of life back, but uh, a little bit slower. But obviously, this is not. We would want that on something like this. That would be really good on one of these if we wanted like a flask that gave us a lot of life, but just a little bit slower, which is not a bad thing. And there's a flask effect, so we don't want that. Um, that that maybe can roll it. I think no. Just rolled something bad. So increased recovery when on low life. It means it just goes really fast when on low life. But we don't want that because the whole idea of an emergency flask is it's something to mash when you're about to die. So. And this is uh, even more life recovered, but it takes away some mana. We don't want that. This has some flask effect on it, so I can't roll it. Because honestly, it wouldn't make sense because it's like, well, it's, it's over instantly. This one is kind of close to an insta flask. It's basically, it reduces it a little bit, but it gives instant recovery on low life. Low life is 35% or less mana. Sorry, life. Um, you could use it, but we want to go all the way. Um, this is also a, a variation of it, which is like 50% of the fl uh, flask recovery is applied instantly but um you still it's not really an instant flask uh like we're going we're trying to go all the way but i'm getting extremely unlucky because i'm having to waste a lot of alterations here so the, the immunity chill could have had it had it on there because it's one of the things that can roll on it this is it there we go and also and then the sad thing this is actually probably really good for pat oh what'd you get uh you're none of my, i got life recovery for minions if you have another one i'll i'll, I'll give you that one Oh, uh, what kind of flask did you get? I rolled that. You gotta give me an equivalent, because I just spent a lot of alterations on that motherfucker. I do not have another divine, but I'll check to see if my vendor does. I mean, I have another divine, but it's not quality. Uh, I'll just give you four things for it. What four things? Last war bubbles. I mean, it's blue, though. Okay, hold on, then. I, I know what you want. Yeah, I want another instant flask. Because I rolled this on my own, and it's one that you could use. I don't want to fucking roll another one. It's fucking alterations. But anyways, uh, that's, this is what you want. So I get basically about a thousand life back uh, every time I use this, and it's instant. It, it comes back, like, instantly. It just bop. You'll, you'll, you'll watch when I when I, when I I drop an health and just go use it. It's like, bam, going to go back up. I have, I have this flask. Fuck off. No. Oh my god. Dude, this, this is like an endgame flask, dude. What are you fucking talking about? Well, well, you can I have mean, it later. I you can have, have. I don't have one. You can one. have it later then. I just okay. need one now. I rolled it for myself. And I, roll, I didn't roll it for you. I just said, if you roll another one, and with twenty percent and all that kind of shit, then yeah, we're good. What the hell is up, up right. here? Who the fuck's this asshole? Yo, who's a dead, a dead, dead asshole over here? Who do you think it is? Who's the only person that we know of that the last time we were here sacrificed what remained of their life to help us? Oh no, not Groost. No. No, fuck Groost. <laughs> oh. That hurt, it's really? Diallo, man. I, that's Diallo, right? Really. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I it, think. It honestly looks like a, it looks like a man, I won't lie. It does. I, it, the only other person I can think of it being is Dominus, but that doesn't make sense. I, I mean... Dominus I mean, who is... else have we killed around here? I mean, that's probably Diala. Got a question for you, Mike. How many chromatics do you have? Uh, a bunch. Why? Okay, because I'm going to need you to chrome something for me here in the near future. Well, I'm going to the descent, fucker, so... I am literally right behind you. Alright, well, let's go descent to something. I, I, honestly, I probably shouldn't have continued this, but... I mean, how, how far does this go? Okay, it goes far enough. Alright, never mind. We're, we're actually ending the episode, so... Whatever, fine. Take care. Bye, everyone. See ya. Bye, everybody.